It is the 26th century. Peace prevails in the Earth's solar system. Tachyon gates allow us to travel tremendous distances in mere seconds. This is the golden age of space exploration. But there is trouble on the fringe of civilized space. Large corporations, desperate for new resources, threaten to overtake distant colonies. The colonists, fearing for their independence, respond with violence. Life is anything but peaceful in the fringe. the escort run with the Talane. I'm coming in for some repairs and retrofits. Those CMI mercs really did a number on my paint job. Understood, Logan. We've logged the completion credits into your account. Please refer to the job board for new contracts upon your return. Yeah, yeah. No rest for the weary, huh, Dilly? Welcome to Europa Starbase. You are cleared for docking. Well, that's my life. One job after another. I was looking out for the big money, the big break that'll set me up for life. As long as the corpers have somebody to fight, they'll always need guys like me. Now performing personnel scan. Welcome, Mr. Logan. Tachyon News Service, rated number one. Corporate disciplinary hearings for PPS and Oberon. The Tachyon News Service is proud to announce that for the 10th straight year, we have been voted the number one source of news in the galaxy. Independent research gives us an 86% accuracy rating for our stories, making us the most reliable source for information that has ever existed. Audiences praised our proprietary smart headline technology, a feature that highlights the stories that are personally most important to them. At Tachyon News Service, we deliver the news faster than the speed of light. Literally. Star Patrol confirmed today that a major police action transpired just outside Mars orbit after their sensors registered a large-scale exchange of fire between ships operated by Phobos proprietary systems and Oberon Incorporated. Struggle between these organizations began several years ago when Bernard Station 147 announced its intent to pursue a trade contract with Oberon despite long-standing allegiance to Phobos proprietary systems. Commander Erwin Korsher of the Star Patrol issued the following statement. We cannot permit private conflicts between corporations to threaten centers of peaceful commerce. This is the sort of behavior we would expect in the fringe, and it will not be tolerated in Seoul space. The case has already gone to the High Tribunal of the Seven Planet Accord, and legal experts estimate the cumulative fines may total in excess of 2.1 trillion credits.
Mr. Logan. Good to hear from you. Welcome back from your brief vacation. I understand Mars is quite beautiful during the second summer. I bring a simple request. A new flight instructor has recently been promoted to the AGT Pilot Corps. Next week, she will begin training rookies in basic flight controls, targeting, and tachyon jump gate use. We would like you to test her basic curriculum for accuracy. We understand it might feel a bit awkward for a pilot of your caliber to take a basic training run, but it would be quite helpful to this instructor to have an expert as her first pupil. Instructor Lorna Kirkland. Thank you for assisting me with the training program today. I'm thrilled to be working with such an experienced pilot. If you have any suggestions on my technique before I do this for real, please let me know. Sure thing, Lorna. You'll do great. Okay, I'll begin. Welcome to the AGT Pilots Training Course. Here you will learn the basics of piloting a starship. On the left side of your screen, you will notice a step-by-step -step objective list for you to follow during this session. Take a few moments to get accustomed to your ship's controls. Try turning and rolling. Adjust your speed with the plus and minus keys. When you hold down the tab key, your afterburners will provide you with a tremendous burst of speed. Notice the bar on the right side of your radar. This shows how much energy you have left for your afterburners. 
you'll notice it drains fast. In order to travel from sector to sector, you will utilize tachyon coil generator gates. Your navigational computer will highlight any gate you need to travel through to complete your current contract. If the gate is not in front of you, a gold arrow will point to it. I will now open the Luna TCG gate, which will let you travel all the way to the Earth's moon in just a matter of seconds. through a gate by using the A key. you should practice the slide maneuver. Go ahead and fly close to the shipyard so that you have a nearby point of reference. Okay, you got it. When you hold down the Q key, your ship will continue heading in its current direction, regardless of which way you turn the ship. As soon as you release the slide control, your ship will begin heading in the direction that you are pointing. Sliding is handy for making quick turns or for keeping your weapon pointed at a target. When you are comfortable with the slide maneuver, fly through the Venus Sector Tachyon Gate.
weapons mounted on your ship, you can cycle the primary and secondary weapon slots with the 1 and 2 keys. The tilde key chains your weapons together so that they will all fire when you pull the trigger. If a weapon slot has multiple mounts, you can link them with the 3 or 4 key. Try destroying some more mines. Turning on the moving targets. Go ahead and practice on these robot ships. A good strategy is to use the 9 key to have your ship automatically match speed with your target. Another trick is to use the Z key to engage your reverse thrusters to slow your ship down quickly. This will keep your enemy in front of you if it tries to evade you with quick turns. The lead target assistant appears as a small circle leading your selected target. When your target is within range, it will brighten. Place your crosshairs in this circle to increase your chances of hitting a moving target. small fighters. To take them down, you will need to knock out important subsystems. Cycle through this freighter's subsystems using the semicolon and apostrophe keys. Find and destroy its power generator now. Hey, I can do that. set them. Oh, there. Gotta remember not to let that happen to the rookies. Well, since you took a little damage, let's skip ahead and talk about your systems. Look in the lower right of your screen. You'll see an icon representing your ship and shields. If your front or rear shields took damage, you can transfer energy from one to the other using the U and J keys. Your shields will also regenerate over time. If your hull is damaged, its icon will turn yellow and then red when critical. Unlike your shields, you must return to Starbase to get your hull repaired. To the right of the ship icon is your energy management system. Your shields, afterburners, and energy weapons all draw power from your engines. You can increase the speed at which these systems regenerate with the B, N, and M keys. Keep in mind, 
This will reduce the amount of energy available for your engines, which will lower your top speed until the system fully recharges. In emergency situations, you can instantly transfer power from one system directly to another. For example, pressing Y will automatically regenerate your shields with energy from your lasers. Be aware though, you will lose a little bit of energy every time you transfer from one system to another. Head to the navigational buoy when you are ready. Okay, back to picking up cargo. Target the nearby crate. Notice that your radar will only see small objects like this one from a short distance. When you fly in closer, your scanners will be able to detect what cargo is inside. You will be notified when you are within range to take it into your cargo hold. Press the enter key to beam it aboard. Good job! You are now ready to head back to Europa. Notice that the objectives show your final destination, how many jumps it takes to get there, and the gate you need to jump through next. Don't you worry about trying to kill me back there. I won't hold it against you. Thank you again, Mr. Logan. Feel free to use the autopilot key to dock with Europa Starbase. Well done, Mr. Logan. Ms. Kirkland has received an evaluation of her routine. Sorry about the malfunctions. Not that we had any fears that you couldn't handle yourself. The credits have been transferred to your account.